I'm Robin Hatcher, and I am a communication makeover expert. Hi, my name is Robin Hatcher, and my book is Standing Ovation Presentation. Most of us tell people what we do. We give a job title, we give an explanation of what we do, but what people really want to know is they want to be able to see what it is that you do. There is not a one-size-fits-all presentation style. Speaking is an art. It's not a science. You can caress, you can make it colorful, you can make it black and white. I was incredibly shy. My nickname as a child was shy. I never spoke. I didn't want to speak to any adults. I didn't trust them. So I bring with me that understanding of what it's like to be shy. What I've done is I created a primer for presentation skills, but I've added a little twist that I identified nine different communication styles. And what I do is I call them actor types. No one can change if they don't want to change. So that desire to change has to be lit. Sometimes I light the desire to change by having them visualize what their lives might be with that change. And that's a very neuro-linguistic programming type of activity. And that's, an, a, that's a practice that I study and I've certified in. Something nonverbal could be getting in the way of you getting the sale. What happens with a lot of people is that they'll disguise their natural self because they want to be right or they want to be good. Knowing your uh, actor type gives you an opportunity to leverage your strengths and minimize your weaknesses. So you really want to visualize what you would feel like as a success. What would you feel like when you're happy? What would you feel like when you're confident? What does it look like? How do you breathe when you're confident? They may have the tools or the skills or the knowledge, but unless it's authentic to who it is that they are, it may not be as effective. If it's not connected to their body language, if the voice isn't conveying that message, when you marry what you value, the value that you bring with the way that you're communicating, then that becomes a strong and consistent personal brand. You want to find out who your core is and really figure out what it is that you have to give your audience. What you want to do is elevate those strengths, minimize the weaknesses, and be an authentic presenter.